Now, it is yeah. true that under our project labor agreements, we do require that they come through the joint labor management apprentice programs. And there's some very important reasons for that. So no one does hide from home. First of all, in the San Diego Unified School District project, the APC sued to try to invalidate the requirement that apprentices come from the joint labor management programs, saying that this was a violation of competitive bidding rules. And the court threw out that lawsuit. And the reason they threw out that lawsuit is because they said that the district was entitled to raise the bar and guarantee that there was a quality education being given through the apprenticeship program. And that the district demonstrated that the union apprenticeship programs were better. And the proof of that is you have heard that the unions are only about 15% of the construction industry. And yet, the graduates of the state approved apprenticeship programs, about 90% of the graduates come from the union labor management apprenticeship programs. We are the apprenticeship programs that are actually graduating people. So if you want to take an, an analogy that, that you would understand as educators, there's been a lot of news recently about for-profit trade tech colleges that take students' financial aid or federal financial aid dollars, put people through expensive programs, and then don't give them a career at the end of the day. That is what the unilateral apprenticeship programs are. And you have the right as a district to focus on quality education. And, and the statistics are, are borne out by the graduation rates. We are 15% of the industry. We're graduating 90% of the apprentices, 91% of the uh, women and people of color uh, come through the union apprenticeship program. So, Unilateral programs take no money from apprentices. The entirety of the cost of their training and education is paid for by the contractors that indenture the apprentices. We take no money from apprentices, and for him to characterize the men and women that have invested millions of dollars, built training facilities in all of the communities in California to train the young men and women who want careers in construction as the same as the profit motive uh, folks is is beyond the pale. I've I've never I've been doing this for 15 years, and I've never heard someone sink so low as to make that characterization. We are nonprofits. We are solely designed to train young men and women, and they pay nothing. They get the edu education. They get a five-year career path where they're being paid during their five years of their training. They end up with no student loans. They have no obligation to repay right. any of the cost of their instruction. That's 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 a horrible mischaracterization. So now we have a question because you just heard it from two of the speakers. One in a more obtuse way answered it because it was embarrassing. One uh, perhaps com not not completely answered it. The, the gentleman who represents the unions. No, you you cannot work. Now, the rationale is our programs are better, and I just want to use an analogy that you can really use and think about. Because they graduate, they do a great job. These are terrific programs. They happen to have spent 10 years teaching in non-union programs and support from being allowed to open because monopolies are good things for those that have the monopoly. I understand that. But they lost non-union contractors to now, only in the last 15 years, training the apprentices. But the unions do a good job. They graduate most apprentices. What you need to understand, though, is the rationale. Well, we graduate most, therefore ours are superior. Here's an analogy for you. Because only 10% of the graduates in this state graduate from private schools, K through 12, they are an inferior education that most students are getting because they aren't part of the 90% that are graduating from traditional public schools. Just think about that for a minute. All those Catholic high school graduates, all the charter high school graduates, all the homeschool graduates, all the kids that are graduated from Jewish academies, they're inferior because they're not part of the 90% of graduates. That's the logic that one has to swallow in order to understand the discrimination they're trying to sell. 